thousands of gallons of crude oil are oozing into the Louisiana Make no Coastal mistake. Water. We will do whatever's necessary. But whatever's in fact, necessary. this is a crisis. Yes, I'm just a commercial fisherman. Oh, my whole Gulf life Coast. is based on this. Have we brought in the best and the brightest of all the minds that could deal with this? Acronym for Norwegian Fishing Industry. It's a locally owned company in the Arctic part of Norway. We are around 60 employees. Within this small industry, we are a, a, a medium sized or, or even a big player. OMSET is unique within the oil cleanup industry. It's the largest facility in the world to do this type of testing. Team NOFI is relatively known within the industry, but they aren't a very large organization. This was a big chance for them to come and test their system. The current buster system from NOFI is like a great big slip and slide with two huge pontoons. They took a small operation, were able to maximize their design into something that actually works real well. When you operate the oil boom out in the sea, there was a limit of one knot, if current was more than one knot, or the movement of your vessels for more than one knot, oil disappeared under the boom. What we're doing now is to refine this technology. We actually achieved four knots. The oil is located in long and narrow slits. A smaller high-speed system will collect more oil. The uh, main advantage is that instead of being static, you can move from one place to another without taking the booms in and, and out. Even without a pump, you can collect and store oil in the system. It was extensively used down in the Gulf of Mexico. Got extremely good feedback from all the users. Apparently everyone likes it, everybody can use it real well and easily and simple. US Navy is buying that. Coast Guard is using them, a lot of the, the big players in the industry. The amount of oil to be pumped is extreme. That will obviously be a challenge. We had a hurricane hit New Jersey, which doesn't happen very often. If you're in the way of this hurricane, you should be preparing now. We've heard that a hurricane is coming our way, and we've told Team Nofi that they're not going to be able to unpack their system and assemble it. And what we're dealing with right now is transporting the 54,000 gallons of oil we have on site to the main side of the base inland from here and unfortunately that's causing a big delay for us in our schedule. When we came here there were uh, no oil, there was a hurricane in the area. Dag was pretty much low-key, didn't get upset when things were not going his way. Good to work with. Welcome back, sorry for the delay, you can blame Irene. Let's get this going, get you guys back out there working. Things are back to normal. We are basically pumping in oil to the tank. This is a prototype, it has never been in oil before. Uh, two pieces on Fagerheim. The testing went really well until we noticed that the connection hose to one of the flanges was leaking oil. We had a small leakage in one of our flanges and we are changing the gasket in there. Here we were with this impending hurricane and we thought that Team Nofi might be really stressed out. I'm, I'm my Nofi. Boy, were we wrong. They were really smooth, really calm. They had such a positive attitude and when they were finally <laughs> able to finish their test, they jumped up and down with excitement and we were all so happy that they were able to get through it. They hit the ground running. They came in and battled hard. Their runs and their tests were completed on time. Very successful. To push the limits all the time, that's the main driving force. That's basically the only way to survive in the business. Thank you.